going on, you guys? Derek Mikulski here again with Active Motion Bar, bringing another five minute killer workout this time. I hope you're ready. I'm gonna show you each of the five exercises first. This is gonna be five movements, one minute each. Really simple. I'm using a 10 pound Active Motion Bar. You should start with one that's lighter until you get used to it. If you're not using an Active Motion Bar, I would recommend that you get one because of the shifting mass is gonna just bring a ton of benefits. And a lot of you and those of you who are trainers and group fitness instructors, uh, hear from your clients and your members every day. But um, five movements, so here we go. The first one we are going to do is kind of like a, it's a burpee variation. The bar is gonna stay down on the floor right here. So if you're getting set up for this routine right now, go ahead and put your bar on the floor just like this, uh, perpendicular to your body. Here's how it's gonna look. For one minute, you don't have to start yet, I'm just showing you. We're gonna hit the ground, right? Hands are planted. We're gonna jump back. We're gonna step out with each foot. Then you're gonna reach for the end cap on the right side and touch and then on the left side and then touch and then you're gonna jump your feet back together jump in and jump up that's exercise one so we hit the floor jump back step out touch touch jump in and jump up okay <laughs> all right exercise number two is going to be one where we're holding on to the bar this time hands are on the white lines we're gonna get down to a squat position that we can Hold for a minute straight, and we're doing steering wheel turns. That's exercise number two, okay? Exercise number three, we're gonna lie down supine, that means face up, in a bridge position. You're gonna grab the bar on those white lines, and for a minute straight, we're gonna do a bridge march. Just trying to stabilize that bar, keeping your butt off the floor the whole time. You're gonna feel that in your backside. The last two exercises were back down on the floor using the bar as a reference. Hands are gonna start over the bar this time and we're gonna step back into a plank. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna shuffle to one side. Chest stays over the end cap. Foot comes out, you're gonna drop those hips. Lift, back to center. Shuffle to the other side. Chest is over the end cap. Foot comes out along the length of the bar here, drop those hips, the hip opener, right, back to center, and shuffle back and forth. That's our fourth exercise, okay? The fifth and final one, we're gonna bring it back to center, okay? And then we're just gonna do some plank ups, I like to call them. So, for those of you who are strong enough, you're gonna let those elbows flex, slowly come down to the floor, and then drive it back up to the top. Flex slowly and drive it back up top. For those of you who have difficulty right there, you can go alternate up and down, up and down. Those are our five movements. Let's get to it. Those burpees first, here we go. In four, three, two, one, hit the ground, jump back, step out, out, tap, tap, jump together, jump in, and jump up. Do it again, down, back, out, out, reach, reach, jump together, jump in, and jump off. Do it again, jump back, out, out, touch, touch, in, in, up. Now see if you can go a little faster than me here. How about that? Try to beat me, we're racing. Jump. Are you beating me? I don't know, I'm trying to go my fastest here. Woo. One more time, you guys, jump back. Touch, touch, in, in, and up. Good work. Let's grab the bar. Hands on those white lines. Get into your low squat position. We're going for it right now. Arms are out front, turn. This is where it's gonna really start to suck. Steering wheel turns are extremely difficult. You can keep that squat lower. That's great. Big drive. Remember, the modifications we can make here is getting too intense. You can extend your knees, stand a little taller, or you can bring the bar in closer to your body with the elbows flexed, okay? Now I'm just showing you this because you need to know the regressions. About 15 seconds left. Keep it up. Big turns. Keep those arms extended for me, you guys. Big turns. Big turns. Flip it. Flip it. Keep going. Get a little lower. Three, 
Lower two, arms straight, one. Good work. Whew. Let's get down to the floor. Get the bar extended out above the chest. Get those feet planted strong, rooted into the floor, okay? Now lift those hips. Keep the bar parallel, don't let the weight shift. Let's start that march. So it all means is the knees coming up towards the bar every repetition. And now that you're there, I want you to move a little faster with me. A little faster. Don't go so fast that you can't control the weight shifting in the bar though. That's so important. You want to hear the weight shift, feel it shift, create that anchor through your core to stabilize everything. Great work. Drive, drive. A few seconds left. My shorts are riding up pretty far. It's probably not good. Drive it. Oh man. Great for the backside, huh? Awesome stuff here. Five seconds. Here's four. Here's three, here's two, and one. All right, nice work. Let's flip it over, back to center. All right, bars parallel. Let's get up into that high plank position. You know, it's a push-up position. Let's get there. Now, I want you to shuffle over. Chest is over the end cap. Extend one leg, the leg closest to the bar, and just drop those hips, you guys. Drop and hold it for a split second. Lift back up and shuffle to the other side. Extend, try to make that leg nice and parallel with the bar. Drop those hips and lift and shuffle over to the other side. Now what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to rest the hips on the floor. I want you to try to keep them off the floor. Okay, hold and lift. So you're still engaged. You're resting on the floor. Your body's not as engaged. Drop it up. A few more seconds here. This will be our last repetition, okay? This will be our last one, drive. Lift, up, bring it back to center, and here we go. Plank ups at your own pace. Let's do it. We're down and we're up. We're down and we're up. Elbows flex, elbows extend. Elbows flex, elbows extend. If you have to, you can alternate sides like such. Flex, flex, straight, straight. Flex, flex, straight, straight. If you're really going for it, you can just flex them both at the same time and then drive it back up. Flex and then extend, just like you're doing some tricep extensions. Let's bring those feet all the way together. If you're not there, keep those feet together now. Remember that's a little harder. Here we go, you guys. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. And you're there. Woo! Pretty good five minutes, huh? Excellent work, you guys. Now, this is a great routine to do following uh, maybe a 20 minute, another 20 minute, 30 minute workout that you just did. It's also great to stand alone by itself if you're limited for time. Uh, for those of you fitness professionals, um, hopefully you found some new movements to do with your clients that you think will be very beneficial for their core strength, their balance, their mobility. Uh, either way, great work. We'll see you next time.